Hi everyone! In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this bustier top. I made two tops. The back of this is crisscross and this one is a low back. What I'm going to show you is how to make this low back bustier top. The process of these two tops are same. The only difference is the back part. Now, before we start, please prepare the following materials. To begin, make a slip knot. Chain 4. Work single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Then into the next chain, work double crochet. Single crochet. And double crochet into the same stitch. Then single crochet into the last chain. Chain 1, turn your work. Put a stitch marker into the middle stitch of the first row, which is the single crochet stitch. Now for row 2, work single crochet into the single crochet stitch of the previous row. Then double crochet into the double crochet stitch of the previous row. Then into the middle stitch, work single crochet. Double crochet and single crochet into the same stitch. Put a stitch marker into the middle stitch, which is the double crochet stitch. Then double crochet into the double crochet stitch of the previous row. And single crochet into the single crochet stitch of the previous row. Chain 1 and turn your work. For third row, again, single crochet into the single crochet stitch of the previous row, then double crochet into the double crochet stitch of the previous row. Single crochet into the single crochet and for the middle stitch work double crochet single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Put a stitch marker into the middle stitch Then work again single crochet into the single crochet Double crochet into the double crochet And single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. For row 4, again, single crochet into the single crochet, double crochet into the double crochet, single crochet into the single crochet, and double crochet into the double crochet. And for the middle stitch, since this is a double crochet stitch, your middle stitches should be 
single crochet, double crochet, and single crochet stitch. Put again a stitch marker into the middle stitch. Then work double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Double crochet into the double crochet and lastly single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. The pattern is very simple. It is just an alternate single crochet and double crochet but always make sure that you will work single crochet into the single crochet stitch of the previous row and double crochet into the double crochet stitch of the previous row. I will show you the pattern one more time. Again, single crochet into the single crochet, double crochet into the double crochet, single crochet into the single crochet, double crochet into the double crochet, and single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Since this is a single crochet stitch, your middle stitcher should be double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet stitch. Put again a stitch marker into the middle stitch. Then single crochet into the single crochet, double crochet into the double crochet, Single crochet into the single crochet, double crochet into the double crochet, and lastly, single crochet into the single crochet stitch. We will just continue repeating the pattern until the height of your cup reach your best point. To measure, just place it to your breast, then check if it reach your best point. And also, if the width is enough to cover your breast. I'm done and I have a total of 8 rows. Now, since we already reached our desired width and length, we will now stop the increasing. For the next row, we will just work single crochet into the single crochet stitch, double crochet into the double crochet stitch, again single crochet, into the single crochet and double crochet into the double crochet stitch and we will just continue repeating that pattern until we reach the last stitch Chain 1, turn your work, then repeat the pattern until you reach your desired length for your cup. I'm done and I have a total of 13 rows. Now work single crochet into the edge of your cup.
chain one to secure then you may now cut the yarn make another one but skip chain one to secure no need to do that and don't cut the yarn yet now let us join these two cups together Slip stitch into the other cup, into the first single crochet stitch. Then, slip stitch again into the next single crochet stitch. Turn your work. As you can see, there is a loop here. This is where we will work our single crochet stitch. Now, slip stitch into the single crochet stitch, which is the second stitch on the edge of your cup. Then, slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your work. Now we have here slip stitch and single crochet stitch. We will work double crochet stitch into the slip stitch. And single crochet into the single crochet stitch. Slip stitch here into the edge. Then, slip stitch again into the next stitch. Turn your work. Now, we have here a double crochet, single crochet, and a slip stitch. Now, work double crochet into the slip stitch. Single crochet into the single crochet stitch. And double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Slip stitch into the edge. And slip stitch again into the next stitch. Turn your work. Now we have a double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and a slip stitch. The pattern is very simple. If your stitch here is double crochet, you should work single crochet into the slip stitch. Now, work single crochet into the slip stitch. Then double crochet into the double crochet. Single crochet into the single crochet. And double crochet into the double crochet stitch. Then slip stitch into the edge. And slip stitch again into the next stitch. Turn your work. Again, since this is double crochet stitch, we will work single crochet into the slip stitch. Then double crochet into the double crochet. Single crochet into the single crochet. 
double crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the single crochet stitch slip stitch into the edge and slip stitch into the next stitch turn your work now since the stitch here is single crochet we will work double crochet into the slip stitch then repeat again the pattern of working single crochet into the single crochet and double crochet into the double crochet stitch slip stitch into the edge and the slip stitch into the next stitch turn your work and keep repeating the process until you reach the bottom of the cup I'm done. Now for the sides, measure first the width. Make sure to stretch if your yarn is stretchable. Mine is 12 inches. To determine how many chains we need to attach into the both sides, measure your best line, minus 6, Minus the total length of your cups, then divide it into two. Mine is 4.5 inches. To begin the side part, make a slip knot, attach it to the side of the cup, then chain 15 or chain a multiple of 2 plus 1 for turning chain or a total of 4.5 inches long depending on the measurement of your side part. Work single crochet into the second chain from your hook and double crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next and double crochet into the next chain. Repeat this pattern until you reach the last chain. Now, slip stitch into the second stitch in the edge of your cup. And into the next stitch. Turn your work. Since this is a double crochet, we will work single crochet into the slip stitch. Then double crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the single crochet. Again, double crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the single crochet. Repeat the pattern until you reach the last stitch. Chain 1, turn your work.
Again, we will work single crochet into the single crochet and double crochet into the double crochet until you reach the last stitch here. When you reach the last stitch, which is the single crochet stitch, work single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the edge of the cup. And slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your work. Since this is a double crochet, we will work single crochet into the slip stitch. Then double crochet into the double crochet. And single crochet into the single crochet. Repeat the pattern until you reach the last stitch. Chain 1 Turn your work. Again, we will work single crochet into the single crochet and double crochet into the double crochet until you reach the last stitch here. Then when you reach the last stitch, which is a single crochet, work single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the edge. And continue repeating the pattern over and over again until you reach the bottom of the cup. I'm done with this side. Now let us make the other side. Now make a slip knot. Since we attach 15 chains here, I will going to attach 13 chains only at this side. Now chain 13. Attach it to the side of the cup. And this will be the 14th chain. Slip stitch into the second stitch in the edge of the cup. Then this is where we will start our first stitch. Now single crochet into this chain and double crochet into the next chain. Single crochet into the next and double crochet into the next one. Repeat the pattern until you reach the last chain.
chain one. Turn your work. Then work double crochet into the double crochet. And single crochet into the single crochet. Double crochet into the double crochet. And single crochet into the single crochet. Repeat the pattern until you reach the last stitch. When you reach the last stitch, which is the single crochet, work single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the edge of the cup. And slip stitch again. Turn your work. Since this is a double crochet, we will work single crochet into the slip stitch. Then double crochet into the double crochet. And single crochet into the single crochet. Double crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the single crochet. Repeat the pattern until you reach the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. Again, we will work single crochet into the single crochet and double crochet into the double crochet until you reach the last stitch here. Then when you reach the last stitch, which is a single crochet, work single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch, slip stitch into the edge, and continue repeating the pattern over and over again until you reach the bottom of the cup. Now we are done with the side. For the bottom part, again, we will work double crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the single crochet. Double crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the single crochet until we reach the last stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. Then just repeat the pattern of the previous row until you reach your desired length for your top. Now I'm done and this is how it will look like. For the ribbons on the side, we will work into the edge. Now work single crochet, double crochet, and another single crochet. Chain 1, turn your work, then single crochet into the single crochet, and double crochet into the double crochet, and single crochet into the single crochet. Chain 1, turn your work, then repeat the pattern of previous row until you reach your desired length for the side ribbon. For the strap, I just attach the ribbons here and here. I